Hello and welcome back in other waters. Today we will try to get the gas from Bloom Town somewhere in the Bloom. So let's go over here. Yes, it's in somewhere in the beginning. So I don't know maybe the better, best way would be to drop from the main base instead of this one. But we'll try. Let's see, if I'm going here would be the best idea. Give me a sample. Reach an accident, just in case. We do it fast. Oh, there's a little guy that we need to. Okay, remember that we'll have to wake him up. We need one of those. Which we'll probably use. We will use class. Two we will, we will use for us because oh, there's no. One. Okay. Let's go here. Yep. We need to move down. All the way down if we can. Over right here. Traveling this deep in the blue is like swimming for the tail of the vast main room. them as well. Uh, Eventually. this I didn't scan it wait give me a second we have it don't we unless I need to check something we didn't scan this really analysis of the fandas shows that the fans catalyze the bloom's microbes into massively increasing their oxygen production, to the point that the cells themselves are torn apart by the oxygen that bubbles out from within them. This is why bloom fans can be heard to be fizzing when in close proximity, and suggests that oxygen is the primary nutrient that the fans acquire from filtering. Interestingly, this analysis suggests that the bloom's microbes are oxygen producing by nature, and may be a form of algae. It's only their sheer density blocking their access to sunlight, which means they no longer produce oxygen but instead choke and poison the ocean. Meanwhile, it seems unlikely that the fans live on oxygen alone. What other nutrient sources might blue fans use to support themselves?
That's what we missed. We never actually scanned them dust. Abandoned to the bloom by me, it is impossible to but this exercise part of those walls. Clumps and trails of microbial growth trail not across my vision is visor. visor. Nothing too of interest, just more microbial clouds. A little sun has gathered around the dist and distant base of this rock, enough to hide a creature from the bloom, perhaps. Growths clung in the eaten away dance in the rock pool as if stumbling into the planet. Cold rock formations sit weathered in the green cloud. Twisting in the direction of the bloom's flow. This fan cuts a slit of clear water through the microbial clouds. Here is covered in a thin layer of sli silt and moved by currents of rock creatures. Scattered and eaten away, debris from the last expedition spreads out across the rock shell, cutting tiny drifts of sand. Mina Query tried to establish a base here, but it was unable to resist the bloom. Why here is living in this toxic landscape? Silk has gathered in wide drifts around the remains of Mina's makeshift base. What was she looking for here? In the shadow of the ridge, the water here is still and clearer than elsewhere in the room. Among the rocks and the twisted remains of some equipment, most likely brought here by the air, lies oxidized and caked and flow. These olive green clumps of all seem to gather where there is little current and the wealth of the room settles. This microbial growth seem big enough to log and sample. Let's see what they can tell us about the place. Thick with microbial growth, the edge of the sinkhole is like a wrecked pin or mold around in the rock of the ridge. Thick fibers of microbial growth cover this dark entrance into the central ridge. These bubbles form in the dense area of bloom growth. There may be the best clue to work the bloom is made from. Dark green bubbles that form in the most dense areas of the bloom where there is little plant to provide water flow. You won't get much from observing this stuff. I love the species, let's analyze the samples back at the base. A fourth of green bubbles lies around the edge. At the edge of this this hole we should be able to sample them here. Uh. I don't know why, but this is probably even worse down here. Curved walls stripped with cascades of green bubbles, all glassy and sickly green in the light of the suit's red lamps. Corroded into the tiny maw of the seal stuck fast, the only way in would be to cut straight through. Over there. 
Ну ладно. It's shield, sealed shut. It mean I do this? It looks older. It's been here a long time. Got us against the side of the central ridge, which set us up into the blinding game. A lone farm holding out against the toxins provides a strip of oxygenated water. Microbial filaments peek out from sealed roof like pure seals. Between the wall of the ridge and the crowded shelf is a wide strip of pale and silver seal. This film looks greener than the others. Its delicate spines clog the flow of even these remarkable creatures can succumb to the bloom. Central Ridge rises out of the deep end ground. I think up between Boulder and the Terrain Ridge. A farm lies in a bed of green, toppled by the weight of the Macrobal world. Its stem is exposed with its upward. Is the bloom part of a, of a regular cycle or a simple catastrophic event? These strange rocks are beautiful. If only the bloom didn't keep us from lingering longer. South of the bloom's ridge is the current. The ground is not existent. Clumps of microbial grow back in the water above a single plane. Through the green, I can see the skeleton of Mina's remote rubber tree as fractured and remote as Mina herself. Assembled from notches extracted from the base, Mina's lab now exposed to the corrosion of the bloom, sits silent in the silt. Outside the protective bubble, this motion has been prodded beyond permission. A froth of bloom will cover in domestic plants from the desert. Yes. Go to the laboratory first. Explore more. This place was pressurized at some point. It must have taken months of work to establish this lab. And just weeks of corrosion for the whole interview. 
It looks like Minara was gathering those mineral skulls and studying them. What secrets have you uncovered, Minara? How were these strange circles feels worth all this? Beyond the bubble, the angular shape of the lab second motion set sound, wrapped with quartz of microbial form. As we are now, we now must have re relied on the protective bubble these spheres provide to study the bloom and its ecosystem. I'll call these weavers for those beautiful nests and bubbles they weave. What would you, you do without them? Nests of small iridescent creatures which will maintain protective bubbles around their territory, shielding them from the bloom. More of these honest silicate globes set in the silt, these bubbles must have been built their refuge and their graves. Here suggests Mina was studying the mineral skeletons, where she has cut through the silica shines pure silver. These modules are so rapidly melting away. Are the blues microbes metabolizing the metal itself? The whole metal floor of the module reveals an open to passage below. Mina must have laid this under the lap when she constructed it. The water is clear here, shielded from the night about clouds. Much Machines glint in the dark, papers and tools lie still on silk speckled surfaces, just as if the scene has been frozen, captured in time. This is not just a lab, it's a workshop. She was building something down here. It's a... it's a suit. It looks like she was modifying an old atmospheric hard suit. How deep was she going to go? These are verified for beyond a thousand meters. I'm going to see what I can pull from the notes and documents here. Some of them are still partially readable. The lack of water flow must have kept them in good condition. She was definitely specking the suit for is beyond the drop off, modifying it with silicate skeletons. Artificials, she calls them, exoskeletons or nanofibrous gritty, protecting a silicon carbide core. The pressure resistance of the exoskeleton is unprecedented for biological material that would take the depth rating of the heart suit well past 3000 meters. Incredible. But why go over the drop of at all? What was pushing her forward? She was incredibly driven, desperate even. She mentioned sending arrow fins down to the opposite plane, cobbled together from bits of the base. All of them were lost, and her work when the suit failed. That's where the notes seem to end. The most recent document mentions another way. Did she make it? How? This suit was so close to completion. Why abandon it? We have to make the dive. If I can fix up this suit, we can take it over to drop off. Perhaps Mina managed, managed it. We need to follow. I can do this. We can do this. Let's get back outside and call it in the drone. But we need to gather more skeletons. Anything we have done, they are very good oxygen material. And I mean very good oxygen material. 
got us some more. Nope, not from here. Gold from the base generator now looks to have been using the bloom of the bus like the fuel belt for a walk here. This nest once protected the slot module, but now it's cooked for growth. With the colony gone, we could sample its structure. Soft currents post sealed into the clouded holes in the rock shell. Around this tower and pillar of hole were two rock opaque green bubbles have gathered coming out of the rock cracks. Deep inside this car shine with a strange smoothness. The blue bubbles sit under the overhang of the clouded rock. This would be a good place to sample the green spill. Perhaps borrow stop the waves of the silt. <laughs> Heavy concentration of nectar alive turned the water from the platform wall. The bloom seems endless. Away from the protective bubble, the bloom gains its sickly grain. A million tiny grains, perhaps the broken down remains of those silicate skeletons, got a feel in soft sparkling waves. Though physical objects seem to be able to pass, the fizzling skin of the bubble completely obstructs the bloom and blooms microbial clouds. At the center of the bubble, rounded shapes sit in a bed of silk. Around them, the water, water dances with streaks of refracted light. Uh. These delicate silicate forms, like shattered geodesic domes, seem in Emptied of all life. What is he before the bloom came? Uh. Open geometric forms, beautiful and strange, sit huddled within the skin of the bubble. This bubble has an iridescent sheen, its skin being made up of thousands of tiny particles which refract the light. Among the green clouds, the polychromal light of a huge bubble glo glo glows. 
This part of the room is strangely still, they can close suspended in the room too. be it for today so for now thank you very much stay alive and see you soon bye